In a world where 40% of all carbon emissions and 63% of England's waste come from the construction industry, the call for change is growing louder. Architects and builders face the challenge of creating a greener, more resilient built environment. But how can they make a difference when 80% of a product's environmental impact is determined at the design stage? Enter Circular Works, a company on a mission to revolutionize the construction and property industry by providing innovative software solutions and strategies that promote circular economy practices, reduce carbon emissions, and minimize waste. Our vision is to become a global leader in sustainable construction and property, empowering businesses to adopt circular economy principles and create a greener future. We stand by our values, sustainability, collaboration, innovation, integrity, and customer centricity. Together, we are shaping the future of sustainable construction. Join us in our quest to transform the construction and property industry, one building at a time. Circular Works, building the foundation for a sustainable tomorrow. Light pollution has made the sky appear brighter at night in recent years. One source is streetlights, due to the constant illuminance overnight across many. But this is where SmartLight aims to change this. Sensors will be inbuilt to capture motion within the sensor range. This is done through setting up the SmartLight device into the streetlights, allowing control over the light levels on an adaptive control system, and to be managed according to activity within the area. SmartLight aims to carry this out across multiple streetlights allowing more control over light levels and becoming more energy efficient. To then having connections across cities within the UK and to eventually have smarter streetlights across the world. Making the world more connected with this new technology and improving cities overall.
Science is all around us, and without it, our lives today would look very different to what they do. I'm sure you've all learned about Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton, but what we're taught in schools doesn't always tell us the whole picture. Scientists around the globe have been discovering and inventing for centuries, and in this story, we are going to join Ahmed as he learns about some of the great minds in history and their contributions to science and technology in the golden age of Islam. Did you know, Ahmed? Humanity is a family, and yet the world of science is a real this. What does that mean? It means that every new civilization and discovery that we see today is formed on the foundations and the legacy laid by the hard work of those that came before us. Oh, so like passing on the baton to the next person in the race? It's exactly like that. We are now in a world of modern science. But there was a time when the baton was in the hands of the golden age of Islam. During that time, numerous discoveries and inventions were made by Muslims. It was a time of great caliphates and empires. Baghdad especially was the capital of one of the best, the Abbasid. Baghdad? Our city? Yes, Ahmed. This book tells us about some of the inventors from that time. Do you know the story about the Wright brothers? Sure, they invented it the first plane. Well, technically you're right, but that doesn't mean they were the first people to fly. A thousand years before that, Abbas ibn Firnas created the glider. At the age of 70, he jumped off of a cliff on Yemen's Jabal al-Arus mountain and glided through the air, staying in flight for at least 10 minutes. Wow, that's so cool. Who's next? Al-Zarawi. He was a pioneer of modern surgery. He invented the first surgical instruments and wrote an entire encyclopedia of medicine. It had over 30 volumes covering not only surgery but also midwifery, pharmacology, weights and measures, and so much more. Without him, our hospitals today would look very different. I've never thought about it like that before. I guess everything has to come from somewhere originally. Can you give me another example? Sure. Ibn al-Haytham. Haytham was an early mathematician who wrote all about geometry and number theory. He made significant discoveries in not only maths, but also optics and astronomy. Astronomy? Like the stars? It is exactly like that. He mainly studied eclipses, but he is most famous for being the first person to discover the laws of light and refraction. He used this knowledge to invent glasses for when his eyesight worsened and his baton got passed so far down it led to the invention of the camera. That's amazing. Is there anyone else? Al Jazari. He is probably the most famous from that time and is known for many of his inventions, from tea serving robots to the first combustion engine. He is considered the father of modern day engineering and without him, there would be no motor vehicles like what we have today. That's all for this book, but there are so many out there. How about you carry out some research of your own? Find out as much as you can about the contributions made by Muslim scientists and scholars during the golden age of Islam. I will, Jadi, but where is the baton now? There is not just one baton, Ahmed. There are thousands all around us, and this is a race with no finish line. Every day we are making new discoveries and advancements all around the globe. And who knows what is yet to be invented in your lifetime. Everything in science started somewhere, but that doesn't mean it ever has to end. Are you ready to help contribute to the race? Am I ever? There is no such thing as Islamic science, for science is universal. But it is important not to forget the origins of where much of our modern science was born. New disciplines emerged across the Muslim world, such as algebra, geometry, and chemistry, as well as major advances in medicine, astronomy, and engineering. By tracing the baton back, we can learn to fully appreciate the work of those who came before, which can only help us in moving forward. Today, we have learned about just four scientists, but there is a whole history to be discovered. Ready to join the race? Check out 1001 Inventions to Learn More and see if you can guess what modern technologies their batons lead to.